attempting to commit the same type of burglary that we experienced here. I had knocked on a uh, resident's door, got no answer, uh, initially knocked again. The resident came to the door and just turned around and walked away. The police were called and uh, they took him into custody. They weren't able to charge him with, with a burglary because he never gained entry. But uh, as a result of that contact, the uh, warrant popped, that, uh, the nationwide warrant popped. And so we're scheduled to, uh, uh, the task force is scheduled to go out and pick him up uh, in New Jersey to extradite him back here. They reached out for us for some additional money so, uh, in order to facilitate the extradition because they'd simply run out of money. They had enough for two detectives to go to, but they didn't have enough for the return ticket for the uh, offender. And so uh, Sergeant Charay uh, and uh, our detectives, uh, along with the other detectives on the task force, will be interviewing him probably by this time tomorrow. All right, so someone's already going out to pick him oh, up. Th they'll be leaving in the morning. They'll okay. be leaving in the morning to and coming back, back tomorrow evening, yes. How many, how many individuals have, uh, have been caught uh, for this gang? Well, uh, we, we have him in, in custody at this point. We have a, a second subject who we've identified from uh, forensic evidence who's fled to Poland. And so we uh, are pending the outcome of some additional forensic information and we'll be likely seeking a warrant for him. So we should, uh, at least in theory, be able to clear somewhere between four and six of our burglaries. Now, did you say the individual that fled to uh, Poland, you will be able to put out a warrant for his arre as soon that as we person's get, arrest? As soon as we get done processing the rest of the information, there's already an alert uh, uh, through ICE, so, so should he return, uh, we'll be notified. So okay. uh, that's where we are on that. Excellent, excellent news. Thank you very much. Thank you. I have a question for you. Um, we haven't seen the, uh, you know, the, we haven't gotten, I think, an update on canines in a while, and I was just kind of curious if um, that's something you could do for the next council meeting. Yes, ma'am, I can. I was going to bring that up at the police committee, but it'd be kind of fun, you know, maybe even bring uh, Nico. Nico. Okay. Yeah. All righty. Yes, ma'am. Because it's been how long since you have? Uh, about a year and a half yeah. now. So yeah. I thought it'd be nice to yeah. bring him back and see how things are going. Well, it's funny because I was, uh, I was a judge at uh, Boy Scouts Chili Cook-Off last Thursday, and that was the troop that was here the night that uh, Officer Ruby and Nico were here, and they came up to me, and they still remember. That was the hit yeah. uh, of, uh, of, the, of that night for them. Yes, ma'am. Any other questions? Thank you. Uh, no other department heads are going to address the council? No, well, Madam Mayor. Okay. Let's move to the Treasurer's report. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Uh, this evening, I'm requesting Council's approval of warrant number 141522 in the amount of $119,037.37 from the listed funds and payroll for two periods this time. Uh, period ended March uh, 19, 2015 and April 2, 2015, in total amount of $893,267.98 for a total to be approved of $1,012,305.35. Do I have a motion to approve? Alderman Seifert, seconded by Alderman Belzec. Any questions for the treasurer? In the roll, please. Seifert? Aye. Belzac? Aye. Kenny? Aye. Marquez? Aye. Chower? Aye. McIver? Aye. Belke? Aye. Seven ayes. The warrant has been approved. The next item, okay, we're, I guess we're doing well. Oh, I just got the the sign, the up sign from our our cameraman. Let's move on to standing committee reports. Alderman Marquez. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Uh, just a report that the Municipal Services Committee approved the minutes of the January 26th and the April, excuse me, the uh, February 23rd, 2015 meetings and submitted those to the clerk's office and that our next meeting will be April 27th, uh, 2015 here in the council chambers at 6.30. Thank you. Uh, Alderman McIver. Thank you, Madam Mayor. The next meeting of the police committee will be Monday, uh, April 20th in the uh, police uh, training room at 6 p.m. Thank you. Alderman Schauer. Thank you, Madam Mayor. The minutes of our February 2nd admin finance meeting have been submitted to the clerk's office and our next admin finance meeting will be held on Monday, May 2nd at 6 p.m. in our upstairs meeting room. Treasurer Clark? The police pension fund will be having their quarterly meeting to review performance for the first quarter of this year on uh, Wednesday, April 29th, across the street in the police training room at 7 p.m. 
Thank you. Let's move on to questions, comments, uh, agenda related. Do, does anyone in the audience have any questions or comments on any of the items that are on the agenda this evening? I think at this time, I think we'd like to have uh, uh, David Hoover with, uh, with NIMAC come, come up, uh, part of our consent agenda this evening. Uh, David, I think <coughs> for the viewing audience, I think it would be appropriate now if you would address uh, on our agenda uh, our agenda this evening. Oh, actually, it's it's under new business, so I think we can. I think I can have you wait until okay. we get to new business. I, I forgot it's it's not under the consent agenda. All right. So there's no one to address the city council on any of the items on the agenda this evening. Let's move to old business. Then there being no old business, I'll move right to the consent agenda. We have items A through H on the consent agenda this evening. <coughs> And the first item is a motion to grant a waiver to uh, District 61's Educational Foundation for, uh, for a raffle. The next item is a motion to approve an ordinance amending Section 9-3-2, prohibited parking, and Section 9-2-8, no left turn signs of our Darien City Code. And the next item is a motion to approve an ordinance authorizing the execution of a, of a certain private property traffic enforcement agreement which uh, affects Farmingdale Apartments in Anderman, Anderman Lane. The next item is a motion to approve a resolution authorizing the mayor to execute a contract between the City of Darien and DMD Construction for the 2015 fire hydrant painting final contract extension in an amount not to exceed $33,859. The next item is a motion to approve a resolution authorizing the mayor to execute a contract with Rags Electric Company for the 2015-16 street light maintenance contract beginning May 1, 2015 through April 30th, 2016. The next item is a motion to approve a resolution authorizing the mayor and city clerk to enter into a contract agreement for the 2015 street sweeping services uh, for the City of Darien with Illinois Central Sweeping, an amount not to exceed $33,765. The next item is a motion to approve resolution for our 2015 sidewalk, apron, curb and gutter removal and replacement program contract and Oldfield Road curb and gutter replacement with suburban contract concrete in an amount not to exceed $385,384.76. And to waive the residential $75 permit fee for concrete work. The last item on the consent agenda is, a is a to approve the resolution for our 2015 street maintenance contract with Central Blacktop per the following schedule of pricing, which is a base bid of $1,208,247.20 and an alternate, alternate one, patching of $70,500 for a total cost of $1,278,747.20. Do I have a motion to approve the consent agenda? Alderman Marquez, seconded by Alderman Schauer. The roll, please. Marquez? Aye. Schauer? Aye. Seifert? Aye. Belke? Aye. Belzac? Aye. Kenny? Aye. <coughs> McIver? Aye. Seven ayes. All items have been approved. Let's move to new business, and the first item under new business is a motion to approve an ordinance approving the 2015-16 budget. Do I have a motion? Alderman Kenny, seconded by Alderman Schauer. Discussion? I think you noted one change. Oh, I'm sorry, like Mayor. Uh, uh, yes, there was one numbers. item uh, under capital improvements that will make an adjustment. Uh, the Carlisle Bridge reads right now on 189000 and that should read 184,000. So we'll note that uh, for the final budget. Thank you. The roll, please. Kenny. Aye. Shower. Aye. Belke. Aye. Belzac. Aye. Marquez. Aye. McIver. Aye. Seifert. Aye. Seven ayes. The motion, the budget has been approved. The next item, item B, is a motion to approve an ordinance authorizing and directing the early redemption of our certain bond issue, a $2,600,000 general obligation bond, which was our series 2007B bond. Do we have a motion to approve? Alderman Schauer, seconded by Alderman Belke. Discussion? 
you want to discuss it? Yeah, no, go ahead. No, I think the Treasurer Corn was in <laughs> implemented. In well, well I think for the residents that are watching tonight, what we're trying to accomplish here, we were approached about refunding uh, this bond uh, to lower the interest rates since current interest rates are very low. Uh, since the three payments are due within the next three years, during our budget discussions, the council uh, listened and we've agreed to prepay the next two years. The one third of the payments was going to be made in the current fiscal year, next two payments over the next two years. We've currently been paying 4% interest on these bonds and only earning 1% on our excess funds. So we, since we have sufficient funds uh, to continue our programs through the next three years, it makes a lot of sense to prepay these instead of refunding. If we were to refund them, there would, we would incur an approximately additional $40,000 of costs. Uh, by prepaying them, we're saving about $80,000 of interest. So there's quite a bit to be saved, which will go right to the bottom line in the general fund. So I recommend it, and the council agreed in approving the budget to uh, uh, prepay these funds. And Very good. Thank you. Thank you. The roll, please. Shower. Aye. Belke. Aye. Kenny. Aye. Marquez. Aye. Seifert. Aye. McIver. Aye. Belzac. Aye. Seven ayes. The motion has been approved. Item C, it's a motion to approve a resolution continuing the electric aggregation program for the City of Darien and continuing to engage NIMEC to act as our energy consultant to solicit bids and provide customer service. So I have a motion to approve. Alderman Belzec, seconded by Alderman Belke. And Mr. Hoover, now I'd like to ask you to come forward and to explain the new rate that our residents will be seeing. And that will be, the new rate will be uh, going effective July, did you say? So uh, it will affect the residents uh, will see the bills in July, correct. Okay. Um, and just a quick overview of the aggregation program. There's a program that the uh, city has uh, put in place, basically an effort to see if they can, by grouping everybody together in the community, uh, negotiate lower electric rates for the residents' home bills. And since 2012, we've uh, uh, been able to do that, and we've saved the average homeowner here about $400 uh, in the program since its inception. And again, this is due to the uh, city council putting this program in place. If we hadn't, we know exactly what the residents would have paid, and um, so those savings are a pretty solid estimate. Um, the current program, uh, the current rate that the Darien residents are paying is 7.75 cents. Uh, that'll be in place through, as you said, through July. Uh, we went out to bid today and uh, uh, procured bids. Uh, the winning, the, the, the most attractive uh, bid is from Constellation uh, Power, and Constellation is owned by Exelon, who also owns Commonwealth Edison. Uh, the first year, it, we, uh, the, the council is looking at a, uh, a bid with a two-year term. In the first year, the term would drop um, from the present 775 down to 6.9 cents. Um, and we estimate the ComEd rate to be around 7.3 cents uh, starting uh, in July. So that difference would save the average homeowner approximately $35 a year in the first year of the program. Uh, the second year of the program, the rate would drop an additional roughly half cent to 6.44 cents. Um, and um, again, it, it's a very attractive program. Um, however, the uh, program is made available to residents. If any resident has a desire to opt out of the program, um, they can do so at any time they want. And to, they will be mailed a letter probably in, in about three, two or three weeks informing them of this change. And if they choose to want to participate in it, if they do nothing, uh, they'll automatically be included into this new uh, lower program. Thank you, David. I appreciate that. David, just for clarification, you said 7.3 cents. That's from the ComEd rate, correct? Being the uh, the 7.3 cents correct. is our best estimate, thank oh. you, of what we see the ComEd rate starting to be effective uh, July, and there's a few moving parts to that, but gotcha. uh, our best estimate is 7.3. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And the rate we're going to be, our residents will be achieving is 6.9. 6.9, so the first year dropping to 6.44 after that. Yes. And to further clarify, the 6.44 is, is actually a, um, it starts at 6.9 for the 14 months and then drops to the 6.44 for the next 12 months. So this is a total, um, 26 year, <coughs> or I'm sorry, 26 <laughs> months. 
growth program. And David, one last question. The first two years we rolled this out, we had one of the lowest rates in the state. What was our rate again? Was it 4.44? Mm -hmm. It was 4.54. Uh, okay. Correct, yeah. Okay. Which was, uh, and, and at the time when the program started, I, I, we were probably close to 30% below the ComEd rates. The ComEd rates were artificially high when, when the aggregation program started. Uh, that gap has obviously narrowed, but savings still do exist. Don't we wish we took it, had taken three years at no. that time? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Hoover. Okay. Any any further discussion on this issue? Then the roll, please. Belzac. Aye. Falky. Aye. Seifert. Aye. Shower. Aye. McIver. Aye. Marquez. Aye. Kenny. Aye. Seven ayes. <laughs> the motion has been approved. Let's move to questions, comments, and announcements of a general nature. Then I'd turn to the audience and ask if anyone wants to address the city council. Okay. Then if there's nothing further, I'll ask for a motion to adjourn. Alderman Kenny, seconded by Alderman Belke. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Never again. Ever. Hey, <laughs> Jim. My cousin Rick called McNaughton time. Development. Turning the mic off. Some people working on the drawings for those homes. And he told them he was interested that he, he, al he already had all his information. 